Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at launching sub-activities. So a sub-activity is where you uh, launch another activity and then that activity somehow quits and you come back to the original activity that you were in. And the motivation for this is that I thought it would be good to add to my uh, my note squirrel application the facility for taking a photograph and then using that photograph as the image in my um, application. So we're actually going to work towards uh, using the camera and taking photographs but there are a few more things that we need to know before we can do that and uh, we're going to look at one of them in this tutorial. So I've, I've created a new project here because I thought it would be simpler to look at this in the context of a few simple example projects and uh, what this does is it's got two activities, just two, first and other. And uh, what they look like is they both look like this, um, except that, well, they've both got text areas and they've both got buttons at the bottom. And the only difference is that one says main activity and the other says other activity. And the text on the button is different too. And what I want to do is I want to make it so that when I click this button, in this main activity, it launches the other activity and then in the other activity there will be a button called quit and I'll click that button and I'll come back to this activity. So the stuff um, in, this, uh, in this application at the moment is all stuff that we've seen before, there's absolutely nothing new and um, I'm going to just add a few bits to this to uh, make the activity related stuff work. So in first activity here, I've got um, a button, I've got a handler, a click handler for that button. And I'm going to create an, an, an intent here that can launch the other activity. So I'll say intent i equals new intent. And I'll pass it this and other activity dot class. And of course, this is stuff that we've seen already now several times. And um, I'm going to start that activity. Let's just add the input there, Control Shift O. And I'm not sure what the problem is there. Oh yeah, I've got to say here instead of this, I need to say first activity dot this because I'm in an anonymous class here. I'm in the click handler. So um, normally, just to launch another activity, I'd call start activity. But instead of that, because I want to come back to this activity. I'm going to call start activity for result and I'll pass it the intent there and now I need to pass in a code that's going to identify the activity that I'm starting within this activity. So let's add here a private um, a private static final int and I'll call it um, other activity and I'll set that equal to, um, well, I could give it any number I like, really. Let's just give it 7 completely arbitrarily. And now I need to pass that code to this other activity. Uh, and you'll see why that's useful uh, in a moment. Sorry, I I'm not passing it to the other activity. I'm just supplying it to start activity of activity for result. So I type other activity here. And there we go. So the point is really, this is exactly the same as start activity. The only difference is you, su you supply a number, which is then going to enable you to identify which activity you return from. Uh, now the next thing here is I need to override a method of this activity. So I'm going to right click, go to source, override, implement methods. And the one I want to, um, uh, I want to override is uh, let's have a look. Um, on um, it's called one second. On activity result, there it is. I actually completely forgot and had to go away and look it up. But here we are on activity result. So I'm going to override that method. And um, what will happen is uh, when so I'm going to launch this activity here, and that is then going to quit uh, by a mechanism that I'll create in a minute. And when that quits, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna land in this method here, and in this method, I'm gonna say um, 
uh, let's say switch request code so I've got this parameter here request code and I'm going to switch on it and in fact that request code is um, this that I supplied when I called start activity before result so I'm going to say case uh, other activity which was the request code I supplied and then we can say action as appropriate and uh, what the appropriate action might be in this sample activity we trouble typing a semicolon there there we go I'm not sure but uh, let's just so we can see something happening let's say toast.make text this um, returned I'm going to say returned with result code I'm going to add on this other parameter result code and we'll see that in a second I'll say toast.length um, long and dot show and there we go so um, when this method is called on activity result I'll get a request code which will be this code here and that enables me to tell which activity I return from because of course we might start several different sub activities in different places and when you land up here you want to know which one of those sub activities you come back from and that's what the request code here is for now the sub activity itself can supply you a result code and that's what that's going to come in here and we'll see how to get the sub activity to return a result code in just a second so all I'll do now is just display this toast when we return back to the first activity here now in other activity here that has a quit button and in the quit button I'm just going to call finish to finish the activity and um, to set the result code that I return I'm going to call set um, result and supply it with a code here so let's supply it with um, we could use some uh, predefined code here let's say in fact result ok and whatever that, that is in fact it has the value minus 1 by the looks of it so that will do and now finally I can run my application so what's going to happen is just to very quickly recap uh, when we click the button in this activity we'll start the sub activity and supply it this request code then when we quit the other activity by clicking the button we'll set the result code we'll finish the activity and we'll land up back here and this request code will be this that I supplied when I started the activity and the result code here which we're going to display in the toast will be this code here result ok that I, that I supply when I quit the activity let's just try that so I click launch other activity here's my other activity which looks basically the same but it could be something completely different like for example uh, taking a photograph using a camera activity and then finally I'm going to quit here which will call which will set the code the return code and it will call finish and I'll go back to my main activity and we will return with result code which is um, is this code here okay so that's it for this tutorial and we're going to move on bit by bit to using this sub activity thing to launch a sub activity that takes a photo but um, that's it for this tutorial and this is just something very 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 useful that you'll want to use in a lot of different circumstances so until next time happy coding